our team with new reporting as well on the gunman's secret life. A former classmate is now coming forward. Also, patrons of that Orlando nightclub saying he'd been there many times before and that he'd been on gay dating apps. And the question now, was he hiding a life at odds with his strict faith? ABC's chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, tonight. It's music, it's dance floor, it's welcoming vibe made the Pulse nightclub a huge draw for Florida's gay community. And tonight, employees and patrons say one of its regulars was Omar Mateen. James Van Horn says he saw the killer there many times. It's not like he just sat there and stared at people. He was an active person that tried to, you know, to find somebody maybe to go to bed with that night. Witnesses have told FBI agents that Mateen posted pictures of himself on gay dating apps. And what appears to be the secret life of Mateen is now a central focus of the FBI's investigation into the motive behind the terror attack. Cord Zidenia, who also saw Mateen at Pulse, says he talked about having a wife and a child. I know the struggle of him that his wife and stuff and his family didn't know that he was gay, but he's been doing this, coming to these clubs for years and years and years. Today, Mateen's ex-wife, Satora, told ABC News that he told her he often frequented nightclubs without saying they were gay clubs. Do I think he was gay? She struggled with my question. I, at this point, I think he might have been. Maybe wasn't be able to be honest about it at all to anybody because of the family and the culture that he's from. Mateen's interest in gay men goes back at least 10 years, according to a former classmate at a 2006 law enforcement training course who did not want his face shown. He asked me if I was gay, and because I wasn't out at the time, um, I told him, no, I'm not. And he said, um, if you were gay, you would definitely be my type of guy. Yet somehow Mateen, a Muslim, was drawn to ISIS, a terror group that preaches that homosexuality is punishable by death. And Brian Ross is with us tonight because even though there is no link to a larger plot to ISIS, that group is not only celebrating him, but they now have a new threat tonight against America and against New York City. That's right, David, as they always do in their propaganda campaigns, making new threats against America using video of President Obama, Donald Trump, and the New York City City Hall, David. All right, Brian Ross and your team, thanks to you tonight.